Hey guys, um, it's time to make a new video, so uh, I got a lot of games to show you guys, and I'm going to go through them pretty quick, because I have a lot to show you, so um, yeah, here we go. Um, start with the uh, PS2 games, I guess. Um, got Madden 2005. Got the Grand Theft Auto trilogy at Walmart for twenty dollars and um comes with Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas. I haven't opened San Andreas yet and I just opened Vice City today and um haven't really played it I just opened it to see what was up with it and I remember playing it as a kid and stuff but um I'm pretty far on uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 but um yeah anyways uh, Max Payne. By the way, I picked up most of these games for uh, about, you know, dollar to five dollars. So Tekken Four, Backyard Wrestling, Castlevania: Lament of Innocence. This game is really epic. I just got done with it. Got a hundred percent on it. Um. Yeah, if you haven't played a, if you haven't played this game and you're a Castlevania fan, then you need you need to play this game. And um, I haven't played this game yet, but uh, I just got it the other day, and it was actually fourteen ninety nine. But uh, it was worth it because it's. Uh, I looked it up on YouTube and stuff, and it's a lot like the, the Lament of Innocence, so. I'm gonna give it a try pretty soon. And I got a uh, got Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 2. Metal Gear Solid 3. And I got uh, Gears of War, but I mean not Gears of War, God of War. And um it's the greatest hits edition and I don't like that so I'm gonna end up selling this and getting it the black the black label copy but um, the game is really fun though it's it's epic so that's all the PS2 games I got and um, I guess I'll show you the new system I got uh, it's <laughs> Xbox um, yeah I got an Xbox I went to the Goodwill and picked this up for 30 bucks and it's uh, in really good condition. Um, my uncle gave me this game. He said he's had it for like 10 years. It's been sitting in his closet. He used to have an Xbox. So um, he gave it to me. I haven't even tried it out or played it yet, but I will eventually. And um, I picked these two games up at the same time. And. Um, Blinks, the Time Sweeper. I was reading the back and it says, see if I could, yeah, there we go. Best Xbox game of E3 2002. The first 40 action ga game ever, only on Xbox. So that kind of drew me in a little bit. I don't know, and it says Time Control, and a lot of games are doing that, like uh, Prince of Persia and you know so on so um, I played the first level it's okay it's an okay game I guess and I got um, Crash Nitro Kart it's like a Mario Kart clone so i um, trying to zoom in or uh, focus there we go So I'll show these games real quick. I got these uh, all at the same time for like five bucks all together. Dogs, I got it for my daughter. Harry Potter, also for my daughter. And um, Yoshi Island, Yoshi's Island. And um, I got this basically for me because I think it'll be too hard for her until she gets older. She's only three. So um, yeah, I don't have a, a Game Boy or Game Boy Advance or any kind of Game Boy system yet but when I find one 
I'll pick it up. So, I got Tony Ox Pro Skater 3. So, those are the Game Boy games I have. Those are the only ones I have. So, I found this controller and I found this uh, black Nintendo 64 controller at the same time that I picked those up. And um, speaking of over here, this is my shelf that I got. I just got this new shelf and it looks kind of empty up here because all my games are off of the shelf right now because I'm showing you. But, um, and that's my other shelf. But anyways, back to the games. Um, yeah, I picked that shelf up for like uh, 15 bucks or 30 bucks. But anyways, um, I picked up these Nintendo 64 games. Um, Excite Bike 64 and uh, Beetle Ad Adventure Racing. <laughs> picked those up at two dollars a piece, and then I picked these two games up today: South Park and Perfect Dark. They were three fifty a piece, and I picked this game up a while ago, um, about a month ago or three weeks ago, something like that. Banjo Kazooie. And I'm at the very, very last boss fight, and I'm not going to ruin anything or spoil anything, but it's hard as hell. I haven't beat it yet. So I picked up one NES game, Iron Sword. It's a sequel to Wizards and Warriors. It's a pretty crappy game, but I, I wanted in my... Uh, in my collection just because I won all the Wizards and Warrior games. I got a few GameCube games and picked this game up at um, the GameStop for I think it was I don't know like five dollars or something like that and then I'll, the other day I was at GameStop and I found this and this and you know what those are and I, I didn't buy them at GameStop you know I didn't purchase them um, at the store I, I purchased them from somebody in line at the store because they were gonna sell them to GameStop so I got them before GameStop got a hold of them so yay for me and um, yeah if you guys ever see somebody selling games at GameStop just get just buy them from them first <laughs> so anyways I found this thrift store in town I've never been there before and uh, they had a bunch of Genesis games but most of them are sports games football games and baseball games so um, I found these two games and they looked really interesting I, I heard of one of them before but this one right here I never heard of and it looked really really interesting and it's a really fun game Shakan and um, wow <laughs> just look at that yeah, this game is really awesome. Um, I'm not going to go into details about it because time is already running short, but just give it a try. And uh, I got um, Revenge of Shinobi. I already have this game on that six pack cartridge I have, but um, I wanted the actual case and the manual and everything. And both these games have manuals. So that was a really awesome pickup. They were like $3 a piece. So, picked up one Wii game. I haven't found a lot of Wii games that um, look interesting. Especially, I don't want to pay fifty dollars for a Wii game. So, um, but I found this game for twenty dollars. Mad World, and it is awesome. I mean, this game is sick. So, pick it up if you if you don't have this game and you have a Wii, just pick up this game. Okay. Alright, so I picked up a couple Super Nintendo games, and um, actually I picked up a few Super Nintendo games. I'm going to show two of you, two of them right now, and I'm going to show one of them in a little bit. These two boxed Super Nintendo games I found at, at a random thrift store for uh, $10 a piece. Mortal Kombat, it's got the manual and everything in it, the game is in, you know, perfect condition
So, let's see if I can get the manual out real quick. Yeah, see, there's the manual. A little beat up, but not too bad. Um, NBA Jam. I'm not going to open this one up, but it's the same thing. It's got the manual and it's got the game with the, you know, dust cover and everything. It's in pretty good condition. So, um, I'm already at 10 minutes uh, and 30 seconds. i got to show you this last game I got. I'm hiding it because it's my girlfriend's and it's for her birthday coming up. So, I have to do this quick. So, she doesn't walk in the room and see me doing it. So, this is it. Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. I just found this today actually at the pawn shop. So, alright guys, well, that's it for this video. Please hit the subscribe button if um, this is the first time watching my videos. And, um, alright, till next time. Bye.